So after filming some of the more obscure items while Lindsay was having lie-in, it was time to go back to the cabin and see if she was awake. Good morning from Belletta. Yes, good morning. <laughs> so did you have a good night's sleep last night? I Lindsay? did, I slept very well, very comfortable bed. Yes. My only problem with sleeping last night was my kept losing my duvet. Nothing to do with me? No, because we got single beds but it kept falling off all the time because mm. it's not held in one side. But anyway, <coughs> I got up early this morning um, and then went for a stroll out of the ship and found my bearings a bit better now because it was all a bit confusing yesterday, wasn't it? But um, you had a lion, yeah. which was good. And then we set off for breakfast. Yeah, I had breakfast very easily. Got we did. seated we very got quickly. got seated very quickly and then we waited. Mm. And this was our hot breakfast menu. If you'd like to see it in more detail, please press the pause button. Well, Lynn, we're in having our breakfast in the main dining room yeah. on the first day, and we've ordered, and it looks fine. Yeah. And what's just happened? One of the waiters is going around with glasses of champagne, offering it to people. <laughs> Seen that no, I haven't seen that. We've got our fruit juices, which is nice. The tea's I to, brewing. I have to say, we declined. <laughs> we did, yeah. Oh, but somebody, sure. somebody over there was having some. I'm just a bit, just a bit shocked about yeah. that. Yeah, but we've got a nice view here, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, shit. The sea view. It's a little bit grey out there, but then what would you expect in February? A nice cup of tea as well, I think. Let's try it and see. And I have a granola. Yes. And then we waited for the cook. Yes, well from seating until I got any food was 55 minutes. Um, they obviously had a problem in the kitchen. Waiter was very, very apologetic, wouldn't he? Yeah. It, Every five minutes he was coming yes, over and apologising. But when it did come, it's, it was cold. Yeah, you'd kind of expect if it was... If, it, if there had been a problem and they were just clearing, you know, cooking backlog, mm. that at least some of it would have been hot. Yeah, everything was cold. It came on two plates, which was a bit strange. The quality of the food was very good. Yeah. I will say that. Yeah, and I had pancakes and they were very nice pancakes. But you didn't get any maple syrup. No, and then he came back afterwards and apologised for not yeah. having any maple syrup. The other thing, before we went out for our very long breakfast, we put the please make up our room sign on the door and we've come back and it's not been touched either yet so hmm a few little teething problems i think i think there's a lot of new staff on board aren't they? they've just done a long cruise and they've changed a lot of their staff over from what they were saying so maybe that's the reason but um yeah breakfast the quality was good the length of time to wait for it was terrible and it was cold shame shame because it would have been really nice but and um, no matter how much they apologise, it doesn't make it right. Yeah. So we've missed what we were going to do this morning. We have to, we're going to have to rethink, perhaps go for a stroll. Yeah, and what have you got to do first? Find my card. Find your what? My room card. Oh, why, why is that, dear? Because for the first time ever, I've lost it. Oh, so we'll pop off to reception and see if they found it there. Um, and we'll see how good reception are. Mm. Yeah, another experiment. <laughs> So Lynch, you've just been to guest services to ask about a replacement card and what was your experience like? Well, they were very busy down there, but they had pe three people on the desk working um, and I was next in the queue, so I went straight up to the desk, um, just told them I'd lost my card um, and they went, yes, yeah, fine, we'll just print another one and they did it there and then. It was still warm when they put it in my hat. Really? Excellent. So perfect service. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. And done with a smile. Yes, of course. As everyone is on this ship. Is. Everybody yeah, yeah. smiley. Yeah. Okay, let's go for a walk.
with the blink view behind this. Very yeah. nice. It's too big. Yeah. It's very good. It's, in it's February. It's really quite nice of it. Yeah, I do good. like this pond deck. It's lovely. A bit of a nip in the air. A bit of a nip in the air, but then what do you expect? At the end of February in the North Sea. So after some fresh air we went back to the cabin to take our coats off and then went up to the pub. So we're coming to the pub now after our strong round outside. We're going to have a go at the quiz. Lindsay got off with coffee and because we got the drinks package it was half price. Um, and I thought I'd just try a cocktail of the day because it'd be rude not to. So many cocktails arrived, we'll give it a go. Fruity, mm, very fruity. Mm. I must put it down, otherwise I'll drink it all in one go. So we just done the quiz, and we got 15 out of 20, and we were one point off the winners. Close, but not close enough. Let me know when you. So Lindsay's got a quick hint and tip. We often notice on ships that things these days are not as plentiful as they used to be in places like the bathroom. So we have soap and shower gel and uh, combined with shampoo in the bathroom. But if you want hard soap, just ask for it. And also they do sewing kits, shower caps and other bits and pieces. Whatever it is that you're missing in the bathroom, just ask because it seems as though whatever it is, they'll supply it. And then we decided to go to the poolside grill to try it out for lunch. Come up to the charcuterie, not the charcuterie, the poolside bar. Um, and Lindsay's decided to have her first of the day, which is... Um, I'm having a small Heineken. A small Heineken, I'm having a small Heineken as well. And good. And what are you having to eat? Charcuterie plate. Yeah, it's a bit different for a burger bar, isn't it? They don't it's do hot really dogs, do they? No. Fish and chips looks fantastic. Well, they do puddings and things here Pudding, as well. salads and all sorts. Yeah, yeah. And they seat you and just... Yes, yeah, it's a bit different. Nice little tie yeah. And we're sailing into Rotterdam at the moment. You can't see a lot of the windows. It's a bit steamed up. And if you're out on the outer decks, they will be doing a guided in. Um, yeah, they're riding. doing a guided tour. Tell you all about the factories and, and <laughs> things that we're passing. And more factories. And more factories. More factories. And gas works. Um, and then... Uh, you've got a piano playing as well. And it's not too cold up here either, is no, it? No, it's not. We just had our food brought back to us. Um, and I'll just go down. It's huge! Look at the size of it! It's massive. Enormous! Yeah! Really, really. And my charcuterie plate is very pretty. Mm. And I'm sure that that's going to taste lovely. So, it can't be bad, can it really? Coming into Rotterdam on a foggy, dismal afternoon, having a beer, and doing a bit of catching up. Cheers! So, what was your lunch experience like in the poolside? Um, well, actually, it was very nice. Uh, it, it's a. I don't know how to describe it really. It's it's a. It's not. It's not a hot dog. It's not grilled. Right. It's not. They don't do it's hot not, dogs. It's not, and it's, it's not a, just a burger bar. It does all sorts of things. Yeah. And, and the menu changes on a daily basis, apart from some that are always there. Fish and there. chips, burgers, yeah. and something else. Yeah. Um, so I and you had get a, seated. I, I, yeah. And I had a charcuterie plate. And you get seated and all the cutlery and everything. And the serviettes. And it's all there on the plate. Yeah. And then you put your order in and it comes to you. Straight away. It's very civilised. And they come and bring you beer as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is impressed. Well, as I couldn't have a hot dog and ended up with a charcuterie plate, what did you have? I had a burger and the burger was good. It was very meaty. Um, a bit too much um, onion marmalade on it for me. It was a bit sweet at times. Um, it looked oh. quite. It looked like quite a chunky. It burger. was a chunky, nice burger. Yeah, proper meat. You know, it was a real meat burger. And the fries were quite light and small. And it was hot. Yes, I must admit, I, 
I pinched one or two of the fries and they were very nice. Yeah, it was hot as well, which is a change from breakfast. <laughs> and as you can see, we've just arrived in Rotterdam. As the weather was a bit changeable, we decided to hop across the bridge, photograph the ship and then go back. But as the weather sort of started to improve, we decided to jump onto the complimentary shuttle and we went to the Mark Tal. We were pleasantly surprised to see they were still serving glue vine, even in February. So we thought it would be rude not to try some. Even in bad weather, it's a good place to take a stroll and taste some of the wonderful flavours from all around the world. Soon it was time to go back to the ship, shower and change, and get ready for formal night. But before that, we had an invitation to meet the captain and crew. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. So on behalf of Fred Olsen Cruise Line, my officer, staff and crew, I officially welcome you on board Bolette for your uh, short five-day cruise to Rotterdam and Amsterdam. I hope you will love it. While the captain introduced us to all his senior officers and explained about the different types of work they did, we were treated to a gourmet feast, beautiful red wine and lots of little nibbles, both hot and cold. Trainings, drills, etc. He's also in charge of your guest drill yesterday. I hope many of you like it nowadays. You just come on board, you just go to your assembly stations and then you enjoy drinks and restaurants no need to master. This is the only good thing which came up with the COVID, I would say. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. It helps us produce more content like this. Thank you. And so we went off to the main dining room for our formal dinner. Tonight, Lindsay started with salmon followed by soup. And I just had the soup. The starter like Lynn's. Um, the salmon starter was very nice, very heavy on the salmon. Yeah. Um, I don't know that I've come across many salmon starters that have quite that much salmon, which is a nice touch, but it, for me it was a little bit too much on that side. Um, quite peppery, um, but that was the herbs and whatever they put on it. Very nice. I just want to see how she loves the flavour of this. Oh, you surprised me. And did you see that? Uh, not what I was expecting. So it's vegetable soup, but it tasted of chicken um, with a bit of vegetable in. But it was hot. <laughs> that is, it, that's weird, isn't it? Because I had the same soup. And yes, I agree, it was chicken stock based. And mine had herbs in it, but it wasn't hot, hot, no, hot. Was you were struggling with <laughs> My lips went up. And I like, I only eat a vindaloo in anything, but my lips went I, up. I, and bet, it was I, bet hot. You actually, I bet you had the bottom of one of the dishes. No, it was not so. Yeah, yeah. But, boy, oh boy, yeah. It's very green, wasn't it? No, mine wasn't. Mine was just clear liquid. <laughs> That's not good for tomorrow. <laughs> well, no, I can feel it burning already. <laughs> so for main course, Lindy had the filet mignon with Dauphinoise potatoes, which she said was absolutely gorgeous. Meanwhile, I had the always available rump steak served with chips and a peppercorn sauce, and I thoroughly enjoyed that one. And so we moved on to our desserts. Done crepes, Suzette. How was it? Um, could have been hotter. Yeah. They were warm. Um, of course, they don't flambe anything. No. Uh, so it's just a gourmandia sauce, which is fine. It was all right. All right. Uh, yeah. And not special. It wasn't special, no. Um, and there was no orange segments or anything like that. Oh, all right. And what about yours? Um, I'll tell you. Sorry about the noise, somebody else has got a birthday. Yeah, they do it properly on here. They do. Are they playing the guitar tonight, like last night? Well, you can't hear it that distance. No. So, I had a Bailey's Irish cream parfait with dark chocolate. It was 
very nice. Could have done with a little bit more raspberry. There was one raspberry it. with it, just to cut through it a bit. It's very, very nice. And then I just have one of these little thingies here. Oh, what, one of these? One of these little, yeah. It's a petty four, do you? Petty four, yeah. Well, yeah. it's petty three, actually. Cause one, there's only, yeah, yeah. there's only but three. I had yeah. the one, but it was so chocolatey. Death by chocolate. So I really. take it you can't eat the others? No, I can't, no. But it was good. It's very good. Sorry. Thank you. So after another enjoyable meal in the main dining room, we set off to the pub where we found one of these. For those of you who don't know, this is a shuffleboard game. And we haven't played this for over 30 years since we were in the States. That's not nice. That's <laughs> good. Unfortunately, Lindsay remembered how to play much better than I did and gave me a good whooping. Tonight's main entertainment in the theatre was Dave McCauley, a deception artist that had us all rolling in the aisles with his performance. After the theatre, it was back to the pub to meet up with our wonderful quiz team where we managed to win the quiz again. So we just got to midnight, we just left the bar after we'd been chatting to Gil and Sandra and we won the quiz again tonight. We got 15 out of 15, didn't we? We did. But the questions were fairly easy. We were quite lucky, really. And then we won the tiebreaker to get it. That was even more luck. So early night tonight, as I said, it's just about midnight because we got an early start in the morning because we're on tour. So we thought tomorrow we'd have breakfast in the buffet. <gasps> See what it's like. It'll be fine. Don't forget to join us next time as we visit a dairy farm and find out how cheese is made. Then have a go at making ourselves, have afternoon tea in the buffet, and then enjoy our first speciality dining experience on Valletta. To ensure you don't miss out, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell.